Hi, I'm Jim from Mercedes-Benz. I'm going to show you how to get the most from the instrument cluster and multifunction steering wheel in your S-Class. The instrument panel in your S-Class is a high-resolution display that can show you a variety of useful information about the vehicle. You can control what you see from the buttons on the steering wheel. Another set of buttons above the headlamp switch unify the car's driver assistance systems. The gauges appear when you start the car, along with the odometers for your total vehicle mileage and resettable trip mileage. You'll notice that the fuel gauge at the bottom of the speedometer indicates a percentage, with 100% being a full tank. At the bottom of the tachometer is the engine temperature readout. Anything up to 248 degrees Fahrenheit is considered the normal operating range. In the center between the gauges is a multifunction display that you can change via the buttons on the steering wheel. Above it is the outside temperature. When you see that it's approaching freezing outside, it's a reminder to watch for icy roads. Along either side of this readout are indicator lights for your turn signals and exterior lights. Other warning lights are positioned throughout the cluster, and they're color-coded to their level of importance. Normal functions are green or blue for the high beam headlamps. Yellow and red indicators alert you to a vehicle condition, or with red used for situations that require your immediate attention. They're usually accompanied by a message in the display, and a warning tone when the message appears. Below the display, the lower status bar shows you when you've activated certain driver assistance systems and other features. The multifunction display offers a series of menus for vehicle functions, and settings that you can customize to your liking. To access them, press the home button on the left spoke of the steering wheel. This always brings you to the main menu screen. The up and down arrow buttons let you navigate through the menus, while the OK button is for making your selection from the menu choices. When you press an arrow key briefly, it moves one line at a time. Press and hold, and it scrolls rapidly through the options. This can be useful if there's a long list of options, like your phone book. The back button has several functions, depending on what's presently on the screen. For most menus, pressing it brings you back to the previous screen. You can also press it to hide a warning message once you've read it. And if you press and hold it, it will bring you back to the odometers. The voice off button cancels voice control if you've activated the system with a similar button on the right spoke. Other buttons on the right spoke include plus and minus keys. These adjust the volume of the audio system, the speakerphone, or the spoken instructions from the navigation system. Whichever one of those is audible at the time will be adjusted. There's also a mute button, which silences the audio, navigation, or your phone call. There are two phone buttons, like send and end, on your phone. One lets you place a phone call or accept an incoming call. The other lets you hang up or reject an incoming call. The multifunction display offers you eight different menus for various vehicle functions and settings. The odometers you see when the car is started are part of the trip menu. Using the up and down keys, you can also show two trip computer readouts, an eco display, your driving range until you need to refuel, a digital speedometer, and a reset screen that zeroes out the trip odometer, or the trip computers and eco display. And anytime, the home key brings you back to the main list of menus. The second menu shows your next navigation instruction when route guidance is active. It indicates which way you'll be turning, how far to your next turn, and when you're getting close to the turn, which lane to be in. When route guidance is not active, it tells what street you're on and your compass heading. The radio menu displays information on the station and any program information available. If you see a number before the station, like 3, that means you've already saved that station as preset number 3 in the keypad under the center handrest. When the radio display is showing, you can change the station by using the up and down arrows. Just stop scrolling when you reach the station you want. If you'd like to switch between AM, FM, and satellite radio, first press the OK button, then use the arrows, then press OK to confirm. The media menu shows you all your onboard music sources, like the CD player, memory card, music register hard drive, or what's plugged into either of the USB ports. Much like the radio menu, the arrows let you scroll through the media sources, and OK starts playback from that device. Once a device is playing, the arrows let you select tracks, scroll through playlists, and more. Please note that there are two USB ports in the center armrest, but only one device can play at a time. 
The telephone menu operates your Bluetooth paired phone. To learn how to pair a phone, please see your operator's manual. You'll see phone ready on the screen if the phone is already paired, or sometimes you'll see the phone's name or your wireless providers. To place a call from your phone book, use the arrow keys to scroll until you locate that entry. Then use the send and end phone buttons to dial the call and to hang up when you're finished. If you receive an incoming call, the caller ID information appears on the screen automatically. Use the send and end buttons to accept or reject the call. If you use the send button without going into the phone book, it automatically brings up a list of recent calls for you to select and redial. The assistance display menu shows you information on Distronic Cruise Control, if equipped, and attention assist. The service menu includes a readout of your tire pressures, shows you when your next maintenance service is due, and can display the coolant temperature, including a warning that pops up automatically if it gets too high. The last menu is for vehicle settings. Here you can customize a number of the car's features, from the driver assistance systems to what you see in the instrument cluster. A row of buttons above the headlamp switch lets you control numerous driver assistance systems, Switching a system on brings up a message or menu in the display, or an icon in the lower status bar. Depending on your car's equipment, there are buttons for these systems. Steering Assist, Active Lane Keeping Assist, Parktronic, which, unlike the others here, defaults to on. When the red light is lit, that means you've deactivated it. The next button is for the Surround View Camera System. And finally, Night View Assist Plus. Turning on this system as long as it's dark out, replaces the multifunction display with a live view of the road ahead from the system's infrared camera. You'll notice that the gauges move slightly to make the image as large as possible. There's another important new feature that can make Night View Assist Plus more helpful than ever. From the settings menu, select Drive Assist, then Night View Assist, and then check Automatic Activation. With this feature, you don't have to keep the Night View display on the screen. If the system detects a pedestrian or animal in your path while you're driving on a dark road, it will turn on automatically to alert you, and even highlight a person with a red outline. There are a few other buttons in the cockpit that we'd like to bring to your attention. On the ceiling above the mirror are controls not just for the sunroof and interior lights, but also the three buttons of Mercedes-Benz Embrace. There's an SOS button for emergencies, a wrench button to reach our 24-7 roadside assistance, and the I button, which will connect Embrace subscribers to our Customer Assistance Center. One of the many services they offer is live help with any questions you might have about your car, including how to use a feature. Please see your operator's manual for more information. Remember, there's also an on-screen digital operator's manual in your command system. If you have further questions, your Mercedes-Benz dealer will be happy to help. Thanks for watching.